This is a APA 33. I don't remember the name of that ship, but I was on APA 28, the Charles Carroll. And this is what we did. Uh, with this, we hit the beach, come yeah. back, all gets in a circle again, go to the beach again until all the troops are off the ship. Yeah. So, what What was your job on the ship? I was a motor machinist, make okay. sure the engine run. It's a pretty important job. Never broke down. So what? We tuned them up. So when they made these boats, they didn't use metal, did they? No, no, no this is metal. We walk over there. That's metal, okay. Yeah, yeah that's the only metal we had. Ooh. Yeah, that was it. 36 troops with their equipment, 6,000 pounds, 8,000 pounds. We could get a Jeep on there, too, you know, the old Army Jeep. Yeah. And my brother Gene made all these invasions in the Marines. Wow. Oh, Jesus. He says the Japs didn't want to take any prisoners. He said they just soared you. You see, here's the oh yeah. When you get in, come into the air, Mediterranean. This is Spain. You come in here, and this was Merzel Kabir here. And here's where we took underwater training, demolition training in filthy water. You know, you were at the foreign court. How the sewage runs into the water. They make us take underwater demolition. That's why I got a bad ear. And then we went into Sicily first. The boot. The boot. Which and then you, you met Benito Mussolini. And then after Sicily was Salerno. And I don't know where Anzio was on the coast. Mm -hmm. But uh, we stayed there for a long time. Yeah. Holding dead men back. New supplies. Up. They had a 19 inch gun on railroad tracks at Anzio. 19 inch. Yep. Jesus. And it was on railroad you tracks. You had that or they had that? They had it. Oh. Germans had it. Yeah. Yeah. And we had a heck of a time finding them with the battleships with our big guns, you know. Mm -hmm. But we oh, probably got we moved it around on the track. On the track, yeah. yeah. Never knew, we didn't have none of these high techs. Mm -hmm. July 10th, invasion well, we of Sicily. Yeah. They were on our money. Huh? July yeah. 10th, 1943, we made Sicily. Yeah. We landed at Scogbiti. <laughs> invasion of Italy, we launched at Salerno. Salerno Yeah. When we were near Rome, this guy had hash marks. Well, for about 40 years he was in the Navy then yeah. already. He says, every, la every water breaker comes off of the lifeboat. So there was 36 life rafts. Mm -hmm. Take them all, empty the water, and go get Dago Red in them. Wine. Party. Liberty party. That's when you get a boatload of guys that are going on leave for something. Yeah. In other words, over in Scotland, we, me and two other guys, makes a crew to take the Liberty Party in. So the boys all, we land on the beach right at the bar room. So we're going to go in and have a beer. We're going to go in too and have a beer. When we come out, the crew is out of the water doing this. All them guys are going to come out and help us get back in the water. <laughs> we could all have a party for that. <laughs> You made maybe a boat. What's that, Pat? The hangar days. We had oh, our lockers full of them. We drop them down between <laughs> the ships, and you should have seen the fish come up in March. They were neat. They were neat. Do you oh, still yeah. have any, Pat? I don't think so. <laughs> no. Uh, did you know that? Pete lost all my tools putting up antennas. They were we lost everything. Oh, uh, let's see. They were made by that foundry in Allentown. Down at the Bell, Bon Bonnie Forge. Bonnie Forge. They were Bonnie Forge, Forge set. I still have some of them. Underneath the yeah. underneath the Tillman Street Bridge. Yeah. Bonnie Forge. Well you imagine we gave Amish all of this. And we never got a nickel back. We gave the whole fleet home. Yeah. And what did they give you back? The Beatles, you said. <laughs> Everybody is in a right, and then we just peel off as we're going to hit the beach. When we did, you know the seventh wave is the highest wave. We would circle till we found the highest wave, and the seventh wave we'd go in on that one. It was higher. You know the seventh wave is the highest. You find it the highest first, and then you run with that wave. How do you find the seventh wave? You say circle. Circle. When, you, when everybody can get on the seventh wave, you go in like that, you know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
And after Salerno, we learned how they killed us. You know, they're waiting for us. Yeah, they were so waiting. So in France, we found that. I said to oblivion. Five miles, five miles back, we moved to French for Rio on the beach. And that was a real vacation. And the French don't appreciate it. Of course, we didn't treat them very well. This is where it was. This is the way they leaned there. They put them things in water so you can you jam them with a boat and they were sunk.